All right, my name is uh, Nicholas Rush. We just wrapped up a, um, a good hunt and um, we're gonna start doing some grinding and um, processing the geese. To start that process, I will usually, um, so we got our unclean goose breast right here. I'll typically grind these, or clean these suckers and get it to something like this. And then once I get it to something like this, um, this is just me cleaning it under some water, running it down under some water. And then I will take a knife and start um, cutting off some of the pieces of like skin I don't want on there or bloodlines. It's gonna end up like something like that. Like that. Um, this is what it would look like unclean. Some things I'm gonna take off on this breast is we got this right here. I usually kind of smash it up like this and just cut that off. Then let's see, we've got, typically I'll try to remove some of the skin like this on this side. And I usually get it to where, most of the time I get it to where I don't have any of this silver skin. I, I will do something like this, just to remove as much of the skin as I possibly can. So I just remove it. Anything I'm not gonna want to have in my grind, I'll get rid of it. Um, and that's up for your preference. I mean, if you wanna eat some of that silver skin, go ahead. But for me, I'm just not gonna be eating that. Something like that, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna um, wrap up some of these other breasts that I haven't cleaned yet, and then we'll get to uh, putting them in the grinder. Okay, so the next step we got here. Um, so I went about, this is how we had it originally. So I just came back and cut it up, smaller pieces so it could fit in the grinder a little bit better. Um, this is the LEM, I think it's a one horsepower LEM and typically does the job pretty well. Sometimes I get some clogs, but that's with like stuff like uh, um, pork shoulder that has lots of fat in it. Um, but we'll go about this right now doing this. That's with, <laughs> with goose meat, the reason I prop this up um, is because the goose meat is pretty moist and I guess this machine's kind of powerful so it shoots the, uh, the moisture <laughs> and it's at some distance. So um, yeah, I typically put that like that so it doesn't uh, shoot everywhere. So I, did, so I just put a uh, bigger piece in there and sometimes you have to mush it down in there to get it to go. That's, this is why I cut it up. Let's see, this is kind of aggravating. I could just put it down in there. Like that, drop those in there. It's, I mean, it's, it's typically pretty fast. We got, this is seven geese, 14 breast, trimmed. Um, and I would say this, this, this is the, uh, the shortest part of the process. It goes the quickest, um, especially if I'm just packaging it to um, de-thaw it later on and put it into something else. All right, so we're gonna run through these goose, uh, goose breasts real quick and then we'll move on to packaging. Okay, so for our final step, we're going to um, package all the goose. Um, I got some hog clamps and we use um, hog rings to like to clamp this up. I get these uh, freezer safe wild game bags. So I typically get these from Shields or online. I think I got these online and this the, this um, hog clamp I got from Shields. Um, we got Gavin putting our dates on here. Um, how I usually go about doing this, open up this bag like this. I'll put a little bit in because you kind of want to get started. If you don't, it just creates a mess. And like that, then you have it kind of sit on itself. And then I will add, oh, another thing with these bags, they have about, it says about a pound. So if you fill it up to that line, it should be around a pound. Um, and I'll fill it up just to a pound. This process is kind of slow because I have to kind of drop it into the bag at little increments. Thank you, Gavin. 
Okay, so we have about a pound here. Sometimes when I'm rushing it, I will uh, fill it up as far as I can, but I'm not gonna do that now because we don't have, I don't have 20 geese to clean. And here. Okay. So now what you do, you kinda, I kinda go like this, pack it down, twist it off, and I will typically go like this, give it a little like little bend there, and then take these, Wrap it around. Boom. Ready for the freezer. Get that off to the side. Sometimes I'll cut this off. I want to get crazy with it, but I'm not going to do that now. So some of the things that you can do with the uh, ground goose, I mean, you can basically do anything you can do with ground beef. Um, what I like to do is like enchiladas. Like the enchiladas, I like do lasagna, um, hamburger helpers, sometimes good. You can make burgers out of it. Um, yeah, basically spaghetti, anything you can really think of. Um, tacos. Um, but so, with some of that stuff, like tacos, for example, I would definitely cut the meat because it's going to be super lean. Um, you're going to want to cut it with some, some fat. But yeah, besides that, I'm going to um, start just package the rest of these. And yeah, that'll be my how to video how to package and uh, package up my goose meat. Yep. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all uh, learned a few things and um, we'll see y'all in the next one.